to Chicagoland, qualifying underway for the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. See the number one of Ian Montrose rolling out in his Fort Worth colored machine. First car out on the track, so he should be the first one to put a lap in. Travis Martin not too far behind. We got our championship four underlined in yellow. Those cars are Hayden Lowell in the 67. Mr. Trenton Sneed in the 81. It's not out on track at the moment. Cody Cleaver in the deuce. He doesn't like his approach. He's going to slow it down and reset his car. And then Lucas Hoisman in the 97. Also not out on track yet. Watch Hayden roll his qualifying. Hayden crosses the stripe to start his first timed lap. We'll roll with the 67. Brad Wilson jumps up to the top of the board. Go on board with Hayden. And right up by the fence. Drop it down to the apron. 31.849 for Hayden. Puts him six quick. Bradley Wilson's second lap back to the top of the charts. Hoyts was now out on track. Cody Cleaver's reset on his first timed lap. Trenton's on his first timed lap. Blake Giglio goes fifth quick. Hayden to the line, 30.977. That is going to be best overall. Jump on board with 81 of Trenton Sneed. He gets to the line. First lap, a 31.45. Cody Cleaver's first lap, 31.95. He's right up by the fence and into the wall, so that's going to set him back in qualifying as he's going to spin it out. He will be starting towards the back of the pack. Giglio drops in the fourth quickest lap. Vasquez, he's getting to the line. His lap does not count, so he'll stay sixth. Jay Richter, Trenton Sneed. Trenton goes ninth quick. Moves up to fifth quick on his second lap with a 31-11. Trenton moved up a bit. Let's see where Mr. Hoitzman's dropped in at. It's on his second lap. First lap put him 11th. Thirty-one point one zero five put him fifth, just ahead of Trenton. So our championship four Hayden looks like he's going to get the pole unless Jeff Price knocks him off. Then Lucas Hoytsma, Trenton Sneed, and Cody Cleaver down at seventeenth. See, Price is not out on track. The only car still attempting qualifying. Andrix on his second lap. To the stripe, a 31-12. Move him up the board to seventh. It's not like Andrix does not out-qualify Blake Giglio as that rivalry is going strong. The 16 and 13, not the best of friends. We'll see if they behave themselves tonight during the championship race. 27 cars here tonight for the finale in the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. The only other car still out on track, well, sitting on the pit lane, Jeff Price in the 19. We'll show him off for the next 20 seconds, because why not? Let's give a quick chat to Hayden. If I can find him. Which channel are you hiding in, Hayden? He's in the waiting room. <laughs> he got in the waiting room for me. I'm like, where the heck is he? <laughs> Hayden. Waiting for you. Yes, waiting for me. Well, we got the poll tonight. How do we feel about uh, staying there after 120 laps here at Chicago Land? Uh, it's going to be tough. Long race. Okay, everybody. Welcome. Tire Get sets to play Get with. Um, Get on the track. Uh, my bad. Um, 
but yeah, long race, a lot of tire sets to play with, quite a few cars, so I know we're not going to be caution free. Uh, it's going to be trying to play the tires right with playing the cautions and uh, a lot of tough cars tonight. Lucas is going to be fast, Blake is going to be fast, but ultimately, uh, don't have to finish the race first, just got to beat three other cars and we'll be happy with the result tonight. Yeah, it doesn't really matter where you finish, as long as you're ahead of Hoitzma, Sneed, and Cleaver, you would still be the champion, so you could quite literally finish back in 24th and win this thing. Exactly. 24th, but ahead of those three, and it's a good night. <laughs> All right, sir. Well, good luck to you, and uh, we'll see how it unfolds as we go along tonight. Fingers crossed we can get another one. Thank you, Swift. Kick Hayden out. Let's go find Lucas. I'm sure he's hanging out somewhere in the 97. Luke, DG, you got a copy? Yep. Well, sir, all hands on deck tonight as we go for a championship. How do we feel about uh, Chicago land here? 120 laps. Uh, not feeling great in practice, to be honest. This thing has a lot of front end grip. Not what I was expecting. Uh, I think it's probably the nighttime, and I don't know. Uh, the top line seems pretty strong to start out with, but I just think it's going to burn the tires too bad. So we'll see what happens. The right front seems like it's getting really hot under normal circumstances. So it's uh, ready. It'll run more than five laps. So. We'll see. Good luck. Let's see if we can find uh, Cody. <laughs> I need Cody. Coyote. Hey, hey, what's up? Can you give me a couple extra laps? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I need about two. Okay. Thanks. Get a couple extra uh, pace laps in here so we can talk to the uh, the rest of the final four. Go grab Trenton. Trent, DG, you got a copy? Hello. Hello. Why am I not seeing your number in the numbers list? This is weird. Do what? There you are. Your number wasn't showing up in my camera list, so it was weird. But now I got you. How are we doing? <laughs> We're starting uh, in the sixth spot tonight. We got uh, Hayden Lowell Lucas up ahead of you and Cody Cleaver somewhere behind you. How do we feel about 120 left at Chicago Land and your chances for the evening? Uh, as the hood says, uh, Viva the Underdogs. That's what that's going to take. We're going to need some luck. Uh, they're They're fast. That much is obvious. Two of them is like the one of not the most winning drivers in Sidewinder right now. So me and Cody are the odd ones out coming in, I think. And Cody is usually faster than me. So. Ten four. Well, good luck to you tonight, and see if you can't uh, bring home one of those underdog championships. Oh, you know I'm gonna give it my damnedest. <laughs> but good luck. Okay. Trenton Sneed. Now we go grab Cody Cleaver in the two. Cody DG, you got a copy? Yes, sir. Well, we didn't have the best of qualifying efforts. A little bit uh, loose, it looked like. And found yourself starting 17th. So definitely an uphill battle tonight. But how do we feel about trying to get this championship tonight? I feel pretty good. I've got um, some ideas in mind to try and work my way through it. And we'll see where we go. end up. Sam 4, we got a uphill battle. We'll see if we can make it towards the front. Good luck to you, sir. And uh, see if we're talking to you after the race. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, DG. Cody Cleaver in the two. Now we get our starting lineup presented by our friends at a Labor 12. Get the music and all heading on, and here we go. Cody, not Cody, Hayden Lull in the 67. We were just talking to Cody. Hayden in the Napa Ford starts on pole tonight in the 67. Goal for a championship. Brad Wilson, Shenandoah Shine Toyota starts second in the 51 car, but it's 52 in your scoreboard. Garrett Wolfenbarger, the 32 Shenandoah Shine Chevy, starts in third. Blake Iglio, the 16 Low Drag Ford, starts fourth. Lucas Hoisman, the Labor 12 Chevy, starts in fifth. Trent Sneed in the Viva the Underdog Chevrolet starts in 6th. Alec Andricks in the plain blue and black Ford Mustang starts 7th. Travis Martin in his Mr. Ghostman Christmas car starts in 8th. Brandon Vesquez the Starburst car starts in ninth. Jay Richter in the Dockside Ride Chevy starts 10th. Yamantro's KRP Fort Worth Green Chevy in 11th. Matt Benke, the Amtrak Midwest Chevrolet, starts in 12th. Cody Brown Wrangler Chevy, 13th. Ethan Evers in the Light of My Life Candle Chevy, starts 14th. Jeremy Scherer in the Fat Express Ford, starts 15th. Zach Martison in the Gamer Sub Chevy, starts in 16th. Cody Cleaver, Till Valhalla Project, starts 17th. Then you have Cody or Jeremy Clapper Newell in the 21, starts 18th. As we are underway, Terry Grindell is back there. Go through the final of these. Then you have Jeff Price, Jay Munch, Daniel Lawallen, J.R. Deal, Dave Hoitzma, Scott Elston, Tyler Stillwell, and Will Ashbanner. So we make it through all of them. Cameras are being on. There we go. Fields made it through one and two and down the back stretch at Chicagoland. And the yellow is out. We did not make it very long. Let's see who's slowing down back here. Daniel Wallen's car heavily damaged. Unfortunately, it looks like Cody Cleaver may have had a part of this as well, one of our championship contenders. This is all jumbled up. 
Oh, looks like the 15 of Jeremy Scherer pushed the two up to the outside wall, and then chaos ensues coming out of turn number two. Watch this once again. Looks like they're three wide, and maybe Scherer doesn't understand that. Margison's on the outside of Cleaver. Scherer comes up into Cleaver. Cleaver nowhere to go. Gets into Margison, turns to the outside fence, and around goes Cleaver. First of our championship four to have an issue happens on lap number one. As the two car already had the deck stacked against him, now has even more problems. So you see a little wallin in the 23, a lot of damage to his car. Jeff Price clips the 23 of Lawallen, turns him up to the wall, catches J Munch there. Clapper Newell makes it through there, nicely done for him. Let's see if Price picked up any damage here. And he probably has some right front damage from clipping the back of Margison. Unfortunately, it looked like Jeremy Scherer did not know they were three wide. <clears throat> Pushes the two car up into his teammate. Scherer's teammate in the 88 of Margison. A couple of 10 tenths cars involved there. J Munch into the Wallen. Scott Elston. Looks like he may have snaked through there. Looks like a lot of cars came down the top off the fuel tank while we're watching all these replays. That one might be entertaining on board. Nelson sees the wreck develop. Two stays high. Margison up in the middle of the track. Here comes J Munch across the track and the nose off of like La Wallen's car. Then he stays out and takes over 14th. Drivers that pit include Trenton Sneed. Trying to be contrarian in his strategy. Trenton takes it to the pit lane. Comes out in 15th. Yeah, um, Cleaver, I don't think Scherer knew y'all were three wide. I don't think he knew Margison's nose was up there. So Trenton topped off the fuel tanks, as did Harry Grindel, Cody Brown, Jeff Price, Jay Munch, all on the pit lane. An extended stop for Hoisma. 15.4 seconds. Don't know what brought him to the pit lane, but maybe we can have a chat and find out. Lucas DG got copy. Yep. Hello. There he is. Well, it looks like we had a 15 second stop there on the pit lane, a little bit more than just a fuel top off. What was going on there? Uh, Yeah, I don't know. The restart was a little messy, and then the car just plowed tight into the wall on the exit of two, got 12 seconds of damage, so we're going to start from the back here. All right, well, back there with Cleaver and Trenton. A lot of uh, playoff drivers stuck there in the back for this championship. Good luck, sir. Yeah, thanks, Pat. So there you go, Hoistman plowed tight and got into the wall coming out of two. Had 12 seconds of optional and that is why he is back here. A lot going on to start this race. Three of our championship four having issues already. It's Trenton, not really an issue, just had the top off the tank and he's going to start back there in 16th as a result. Hayden Law, your leader, is also the championship leader at the moment. Brad Wilson... Garrett Wolfenbarger, Blake Giglio, your top four. Blake on the outside of Wolfie, trying to get some momentum on that high lane. Looks like Blake's going to take over third, drop Wolfenbarger to fourth. Travis Martin, then Alec Andrix, Ian Montrose, Vasquez, and Richter. Top handful of drivers all single file. Trenton's already picked up a few spots. Trenton's move up to the 12th position. Restarted back in 15th. Montrose and Andrix battling on the backstretch. Andrix looked like he tried to stay off Montrose and it shot him down into the grass. He's going to ease back up onto the main part of the track. Harry Gondrell's going to split him three wide. Right there with championship drivers Hoitzma. Gets up to 15th after the restart. Trenton's all the way up to 10th. 
Trenton making some moves. Cookies and Milk getting in on the giveaway. Appreciate you. If you're hanging out in the chat, don't forget to LOML. Get in on our candle giveaway at the end of the race. Trenton fighting Matt Benke for the ninth spot. Drop it down to the inside. Hayden continues to lead with no bonus points for our champ four. It is all about where they finish. Nothing else matters for the champ four. All the other drivers still get their bonuses. They're still fighting one another in the points positions. Trenton trying to clear the 35. Benke staying tough on the high line. I think he'll finally get him here. Should be able to slide out to the outside wall and have him clear in the Amtrak car. Trenton takes over ninth. Check in on Lucas. It's up to 14th. He's got Harry Grindel and Clapper Newell ahead. Don't mind those yellow banners on Harry's car. He just forgot to take them off. That's okay. You can look over on your scoreboard and see who's underlined. Those are our playoff cars. Lap 10 of 120. White's been trying to work past Clapper Newell. Three wide now, Anjix Cleaver and Clapper Newell. So all of our champ drivers trying to work their way back towards the front. Cleaver up to 14th. The black and red number two. Straight ahead of him, Lucas Weiss with 13th. Trenton's now up to 8th. So he's gotten by Jay Richter and closing in on Vasquez. Vasquez running the line Trenton likes. He's going to have to find a way to get lower, so he goes all the way to the apron to get inside Vasquez. Trenton going to wrap the bottom. Starts to slide up the hill, but Vasquez is there. He'll have to get out of the throttle and give the Starburst Toyota a chance to fight back. Trenton clears. Takes over 7th. single file towards the front. Blake Giglio looking inside Wolfenbarger. So they've traded the third spot a couple times. Now Travis Martin going to try to roll the outside on Giglio. Ian Manchos gets into the wall there, the one machine tagging the wall out of two. Giglio use that opportunity to get between Martin and Manchos. Richter and Vasquez battle for eighth. Trenton's past both of them. Ten percent complete in our race here at Chicago Land Speedway. A lot of racing farther back. Front of the field's kind of single file, but Brad Wilson's gotten to the outside of race leader Hayden Lowell. Outside uses up a bit more fuel and a bit more tire, I'm told. Fuel windows between 33 and 38. Wilson trying to keep Hayden pinched down there. Hayden not wanting to give up the lead. Driving hard these two are for the lead, only on that 15. Hayden clears back in front of the 51, 52, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> 52 on your scoreboard, 51 with your eyeballs. Wolfenbarger third, Travis Martin fourth. Giglio right on Martin's tail, and a little bit of a gap back to Montrose and Sneed. Sneed's closing in for that sixth spot. Wiseman and Cleaver each moved up a spot. 
Cleaver in a three wide battle with Shear and Andrix. Three wide with Shear was what got Cleaver in trouble the first time. They're staying three wide. Andrix really pushing the issue there. Cody Cleaver probably not happy with that. It's all good racing, which you, you kind of expect a little bit more leeway when you're running for a championship. <laughs> Cleaver now up against the fence. That Banky having a blink. Things not going well for the two. Hoisman's trying to run down Harry Grindel. Get up into the top ten. Trenton trying to run down Ian Montrose. In the top five all knows the tail. Kind of what we saw at Homestead. On Monday night, top five grouped up like that. Back to Blake, looked like he was looking inside Martin. It's a couple of Fords do battle. Love to see the parody. The top three has each manufacturer represented. Hayden's Ford, Wilson's Toyota, and the Chevy of Wolfenbarger. Wilson really applying the pressure to back bumper of Hayden Lowell. Victor up the hill, Harry Grindel and Lucas Hoitzma. I'm going to try to take advantage. Harry gets clear. He's going to drop down, give some draft to Hoitzma. See where Victor decides to run this line. He tries to keep it to the bottom. Meanwhile, up front. Wilson to the inside of Hayden Lull. Charges the bottom of turn three. See if he performs one of them fancy sliders up the hill he goes in front of Hayden. Brad Wilson takes the race lead at Chicagoland. Hayden is still your champ leader. Back to the front Hayden goes as he gets his nose out front. Corner exit though, it's going to be advantage Wilson by a little bit. Hayden does not want to give it up. I'm surprised he's racing this hard. A lot of tire used up racing like this. A little over 10 laps away from the cars that have not been to pit road having to take a fuel stop. Other drivers maybe have an extra two laps or three that early caution we had. Hayden back to the inside of Wilson once his lead back. It's kind of been a thing with Hayden. Loves to win the races. I think he would drive hard even if he knew he could back up to fifth and win the championship. He'd still go for the win. Trenton around Montrose picks up the sixth spot. Wilson back to the inside on the 67 of Hayden Law. These two are treating this like a dirt race. A lot of side by side lead trading. Wilson almost was clear. Looked like he wanted to slide up the track in front of Hayden and didn't. Probably thought it was best not to do that on lap 24 of 120. Lap after lap, side by side battle for the lead. This is quite amusing stuff. Might wait for Trenton Sneed, Cody Cleaver, Lucas Hoisman to make their way back towards the front. I don't think Cleaver or Lucas took faster pairs. Lucas sat there and took the damage repair. I think Cleaver did the same. We could check here quickly. Well, Cleaver did take his faster pair. Hoitzma has not. Sneed has not. Of course, Hayden has not.
Hayden settles back to the lead. Wilson in second. Let's go look back a little further. So top five separated by a second and a half over Trenton. Trenton's in that sixth spot, and Montrose. Hoitzwa working by Grindel and Vasquez at the same time, trying to get them both. Almost had Grindel clear. Hoitzwa getting tight, pushing up. Very close to Harry Grindel's. Vasquez clears them both. Now Lucas going to look back to the inside of Vasquez. Grindel's going to look outside of Vasquez. Vasquez decides to go all the way down to the white line. Andrickson 13, 83 of Jay Richter behind. Like Daniela Wallen still in the pit lane from that early accident. Gatlin Downey joined late. Gatlin Downey showing six laps down. Cody Brown one lap down on the pit lane. Back in 26 for Cody Brown. As Grindel gets by Vasquez. Now he can try to run down Manchos. Manchos, one of those guys usually use up the good on the tires a little bit too early. He's starting to fade in the one, bounces off the fence on corner entry as they pass the 17, exiting the pit lane. Cody now showing two laps down in 26th. That car got tight, pushed up to the wall. We're getting close to the pit window, but we're not quite there yet. White spot working by Vasquez. Move him up to ninth. We hit the quarter mark. 30 down, 90 to go. Aiden still leads. Blake Giglio is up to second now. So he's gotten by Wolfenbarger and Wilson. Blake's gap six tenths to the race leader, Hayden Lull. Travis Martin, Trenton Sneed. So we get the radio chatter added back in to see when pit stops are going to come in. Hey, well, there you go. <laughs> right now. Neaver's in the eight. Drops down to the pit lane. We'll head back out. Dave Hoisman also on the pit lane. Join Cody Brown as the first car is the pit. Let's see if anybody else drops down. We were told 33 to 38 is kind of the pit window. Kiglio and Wilson battling for a second still. Stay side by side down the back stretch. Hayden has to love seeing that in his mirror. Means he can relax a little bit. Also side by side behind him for the fourth spot. Martin and Wolfenbarger. Ford versus Chevy battle. The Goose Man puts his face on his Christmas car and has a good time around the holiday season. Wilson got very tight there. The car is starting to come around. Is he going to save it? Bad <laughs> boy, Wilson. What a save. He's going to lose, obviously, some track position. We stay green and don't have a caution. Got a little tight underneath Giglio. Looks like he's going to drop down and come to the pit lane now. After heating up his tires like that, I don't blame him. So he'll drop out of the top five and hit the pit road. Lap 34. Looks like Jay Richter has joined him, the 83.
couple of lead lap cars on the pit lane. Hoitzman Andrix doing some battle. Kayser, welcome. Thank you for the prime sub. Much appreciated. Hope you're having a delightful Tuesday. Sorry if I forgot how to say your name, but I do remember it. <laughs> I just forget a lot of things quickly. As we watch Harry Grindel and Alec Andrix battle. Going for that seventh spot behind Montrose and ahead of Hoitzma. Pit stops, green flag cycle underway. I think Matt Benke has peeled off and hit the pit lane. Goes well, goes well. Jeremy Shearer going to head to the pit lane. Travis Martin, 63 car out of the top five, hits the pit lane. I'll cycle him back. Looks like Jeremy Shearer has joined him. One putting this done. Will Ash Brenner and the 26 Superflow Machine right. joints. Six and I'm pitting. Leader stays out. Giglio's coming down. Second place, Blake Giglio peels off the track, heading to the pit lane. Wolfenbarger's going to join him. Some of our lead cars get into it. There's Alec Andrix. I think Van and Vasquez is coming down. So many, so many cars hitting the pit lane, it's hard to keep up with them. <laughs> Jay Munch hits the pit lane. So we get word 67 is coming down this time. I'm putting, I'm putting. Championship favorite has to watch the speed on the pit lane when he gets there. Trenton Sneed staying out. Doesn't get a bonus point for leading the lap because we're in the champ four. We don't do bonus points. We just, wherever you finish. That way it keeps things simple. Harry Grindel, Lucas Hoisman, they have Cody Brown around them. Cody been to the pit lane recently. So now our championship drivers are first, second, or first, third, and fourth. Forgot Harry's banners don't mean anything this week. <laughs> Montrose, Margison, and Clapper Newell all in the pit lane. There's Hayden going a lap down. Pit man. So Hayden is ninth a lap down after pitting. 36 pit man, 36 pit man. Tyler Stillwell. I feel like Blake Giglio is past Hayden Lowell. Blake, and now your race leader. Well, once the cycle of pit stops conclude. <laughs> Blake has gotten around Hayden, though. And Brad Wilson's out of both of them. Wilson came down the pit lane a little earlier, so he'll have a bit older tire now. Wilson has about two seconds over Blake. That is what that gap looks like. So you watch Lucas lead in the 97. Everybody else has hit the pit lane. Trenton Snead, Cody Cleaver, Harry Grindel all in the pit lane. Trenton just shows you the back of the box, but he's there, trust me. There goes Grindel. That leaves Lucas Hoisman as the only car not to have pit yet. Remember, he got the help of that caution early on. Came down, took fuel, then could Hoisman be planning this to go green and try to make it on two stops? That would be damn impressive. Currently has 26 seconds over Bradley Wait, Wilson. Lucas with a big slide onto the pit road. Like right, through the first cycle of pit stops, looks like everybody is clear of penalty. We'll have to check on Lucas, obviously. He got in there a little hot. So we'll see how that shakes out. Bradley Wilson is now your race leader once he gets around and passes Hoitzma on the pit lane. You're a strange one. Has 1.9 seconds in hand over Blake Giglio and Hayden Lull. Hayden still the championship leader of the cars that have pit. As these guys work past Wilson on the pit lane and officially become the leaders. So Wilson out in front. Giglio and Hayden second and third. And Travis Martin 
And Ethan Evers, the top five, as Ethan had that early pit, so he's going to be falling back on a little bit older tire. But I believe Lucas Hoisma, with that early fuel strategy, is trying to go to stop this race. After his pit cycle and heading back out on track, shows in 15th. Right behind 14th, Trenton Sneed, and 13th, Cody Cleaver. So all the not Hayden Lowell playoff drivers are there together, 13th, 14th, 15th. Hayden and Giglio trade places. Hayden up to second. Giglio had a bit of a moment, it sounds like. Well, I appreciate that, then. Brad Wilson out front by 2.1 seconds now. Should start to see Hayden eat into that a bit. Hayden, a bit fresher tire, add four laps better. Catching Gatlin Downey. Downey joined the race late, lost laps early on. Wolfenbarger battling Jay Richter. He's gotten by Richter and Evers up to sixth. for some other battles going on. You have Montrose and Vasquez. Montrose gets hemmed in behind his teammate. Well, Asher Brenner had to let out the throttle a bit and drop down. Montrose trying Sorry, to stay on it. Really See the apology to his teammate. You're all good. You're making this path difficult for no reason. That was Vasquez. It's called racing. <laughs> Jay no, what you were doing was not racing. I mean, you're, we're just losing time to the leaders when you're like fucking wide to the top. I mean, you're going to lose that position anyway. Yeah, Rick just went and said it's racing. <laughs> Turn your damn game chat off. I spoke three sentences, buddy. We got beef. I know I was talking to you, Blake. Oh, Lord. That's enough. Knock it off, both of you. <laughs> Dad has spoken. <laughs> this is Cody Brown. <laughs> series I'm director. Who, me? Oh, God, the who, me? Yeah, you stopped talking. But then banned was his question? I don't think so. Well, if this was the championship fight, this would be entertaining as hell. Just Trent and Cleaver and Lucas all battle together. Unfortunately, Hayden has to be stinking up that show. As expected. <laughs> what up, Mug? Now Cleaver running the high line, going to pitch in behind his teammate, Asher Benner. <laughs> Man, just imagine if this was the championship battle. <laughs> These three cars going at it like this, that'd be a dream. Not even halfway, though. Plenty of time for crazy shit to happen. 28 drivers entered into this. You never know. Trenton works to the inside of the 54. Brandon Vasquez. Cleaver's getting loose on that top side. Look at that back in, kicking out. He gets up against the fence, stays in the throttle. He'll lose some ground, but did not lift. Now Hoisman looks inside. Trenton is like Ethan Evers up ahead. Eight car up against the wall. <laughs> we saw it, Ethan. Now they're three wide on the inside of him. Ethan, one of the first cars of the pit lane. He's about 10 laps away from heading back to the pit lane. 
keeping an eye on Hoitzma. You know he's trying to make it and stretch that fuel. Let's ride on board and see if we can hear him lifting it all. As Hayden Lowell takes the lead back. Don't hear him clutching. So if he's doing any saving, he's doing it just by natural lifting. What up, Daddy Evers? Getting in on the candle giveaway. Brent Hayden's dispatched the Toyota of Wilson, taking the race lead back. Sorry, about, about halfway through the fuel run here for Hayden. Brad Wilson, Blake Giglio, Travis Martin in fourth, okay. Alec Andrix fifth, <laughs> Gary Wolfenbarger sixth, Jay Richter is seventh, Harry Gundell eighth, Lucas Hoisma is rebounded to ninth. So he had to go through and get that damage repair on that one and only caution right at the start of the race. Trenton Steed, he came down, topped off the tank on that first caution. That's why he went back to about 15th. He's only made it back up to 10th. He should be passing Jay Richter here, though. He's a little bit fresher tire. We have Montrose, Vasquez, and then Cleaver, the last of our champ four, running 13th. Cleaver still got a little bit of damage on that right side, which would have been after the wreck because he took a fast repair, so that must have been when he got loose and brushed the wall when we were watching him. I believe Hoitzman's trying to two-stop this thing, so everyone's going to have to be on pins and needles. Seeing if the 97 can fuel mileage his way to a championship. Eden definitely not on the fuel mileage idea, as he is full throttle. Sorry, and thank you, Zach. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Margeson goes a lap down in 24th. Next car to go a lap down is Benke, 23rd. Giglio's closing in for second on the 51 of Wilson. Or that was right in front of him, banging off the fence. I think that was Margison. Giglio peeks to the inside into turn three. Wilson's going to run the middle. Through the tri oval. They'll both run the bottom in one and two. Gap between them and the leaders 1.4 seconds. Blake back to the bottom in turn three once again. There's a little bit of contact. Giglio wanted to arc it out a little bit more. Wilson <laughs> not letting him. Blake probably had that pass made there if that doesn't happen, but. Such is life. Blake will have to try again. Keeping it to the inside this time. They're going to be very close again on corner entry. Wilson and Kiglio giving it their all here for this second place battle so we get the halfway. Bonus points will go out at the end of this lap to the not championship four. They make door-to-door -door contact again. <laughs> These two are really going at it. They catch Margis in the lapped car. We're go three wide here. A little bit of rub and corner entry again. Blake really trying to get that car to arc in. He will finally. Wow, that was terrible, Hayden. Never again. Never again. Right, let's get this hydration in. I didn't forget. Could have done better than that. <laughs> That that just me a lot. <laughs> okay, that one was good. <laughs> oh, 
Hayden leads. Now Giglio, you're in your second place. Brad Wilson. They fought a long time, and now it is almost two seconds back to Giglio. Travis Martin, kind of by himself in fourth, having his own little personal race. <laughs> Haven't seen him around cars much at all tonight. There's Andrix fifth. Harry Grindel sixth, with Lucas Hoisma in tow in seventh. And remember, Lucas, I really think he's trying to make this thing stretch out and two-stop it. We'll see when he makes his second stop and what his plans are. We are in a window to start seeing some other pit stops, and speaking of that, Dave Hoitzman's come down, as has Where's Ethan Evers. They're 25th and 26th now. They've already completed their second stop. They'll be three stopping for sure. As I'm sure most of the field will be three stopping. That's why it's very interesting that I think Hoitzman's trying to two-stop it. Thank you, Matt. Matt Benke goes a lap down. Benke 21st. 20 cars still in the lead lap. That was fun, wasn't it? Denevers. That was fun, wasn't it? Looks like Jay Richter's peeling off heading to the pit lane in the 83 dockside ride Chevy. He'll come down after 29 laps and complete his next service. Dropping him down the order. Travis Martin, meanwhile, has gotten by Brad Wilson because Wilson's heading to the pit lane. 30 laps on the dot for Wilson, and he comes in. Led a bunch there through that cycle. Point four seconds the gap over Giglio is Travis Martin in third now. Thirty five hitting, thirty five hitting. Matt Benke after going a lap down, gonna go to the pit lane. Martin gets by his teammate there, not for position, but Pass on track nonetheless. Alec Hendricks in fourth. Now he's kind of by himself. Harry Grindel and Lucas Hoist, but they've been together much of this run. Fifth and sixth now with the pit cycle going on. Hoist would probably have to make it to, let's see, I want to say 82. I want to say 82 is his number. As far as lap count goes, it's 25 yeah. laps into this run, so it'll be very close. Here goes Wilson to their outside on the fresh tires. Should blow by both of them. That's what new tires can do. <laughs> he just pushes right on fast. Wilson is 18th right now. His last lap was a 31.7 going around the high side of those guys. The leader ran a 32.7, so almost a full second. And then for, let's see, the 70 Grindel, a 32.9. 1.2 seconds, the gap on the speed chart. It's like Scott Elston, Mac Benke have hit pit road. Garrett Wolfenbarger in a 32's pit. Ian Montrose heading down pit lane now. On the one machine. As we work through our second round of green flag pit stops. Had one caution on lap one, been green ever since. 28 cars in the race. It's like all of them are still running. Llewellyn had a 59 lap repair, but he is back out there. It's Jay Munch in the 69 car heading to the pit lane.
pit out of the 12th spot. He slows down and hits the pit lane. Hayden's lead now over three seconds, says Blake. Cooks it into the pit lane. We'll see if he slowed down enough. That was a wild pit entry. Skiglio pits out a second. I'm putting this time, Bradley, if he sets it up. Travis Martin. 63 car coming to the pit lane this time. Brad Wilson's behind him, so he wanted to give him a warning. Travis peels off the pit lane. He's going to wove it down and bring his Mustang to the pit lane. Looks like Alec Andrick's pit behind him in the 13. Trenton will move up the fourth. Never. Hayden Pitts, Lucas can go four laps longer. Wilson, the first of the cars at his pit, currently 14th. And now 12th as he passes the two on pit lane. Then you have Blake Giglio. A lot of opportunity for caution here. There's cars that are on fresh tires, cars that are on really old tires. Closing yeah, rates are go crazy. Jimmy Shear peels off to the pit lane. Sixty-seven in this time. Sixty-seven pitting. Sixty-seven pitting. So Hayden goes thirty-six laps means he's definitely on that three-stop strategy. Question is Lucas Hoitzva. He can go four longer. That'll get him right to that 80 window. And that's if he pits at the maximum. Hayden, nice and tidy on a pit road that time. He's a little bit wider, wilder the first time. But nice and tidy that time. So far, I've not seen pit penalties tonight. Two green flag cycles going on. Hayden trying to get into his box. Vasquez trying to get out of his pit. I don't think Hayden knew that because he was yeah, in the yeah, box they wouldn't blend. So Hayden... I had no clue you were there. Hayden had to back into his box. He's going to be unhappy with that. He had a decent lead. We'll see if that factors in. But Hayden had to... He didn't really have to. I guess he didn't know that. As Vasquez was coming out of his box, he would have gone right through him. It wouldn't have been a contact. I guess he didn't want to risk it. Slides through his box and backs into it. Hayden losing significant time there. 45.7 second trip down the pit lane, plus 16 in the box itself. He lost maybe, let's call it seven seconds, maybe eight seconds there. He'll be very unhappy with that. Trent Sneed on the pit lane. Let's see if we can actually show him. There he is. Some of the cameras just want to show the back of the pit box. Check in on Cody Cleaver, also on the pit lane. And that turns the lead back over to Lucas Hoitzma, along with Harry Grindel, Tyler Stilwell, and J.R. Deal. So Lucas, only 35 laps since he was last on the pit lane. He can go further than everybody. You also have Tyler Stilwell still on track. There is Tyler in a 36. We'll see if he brings it to the pit lane. It's been 37 laps since he's been down. He's going to have a wild pit entry. That might be our first penalty of the night. <laughs> I'm going to say that's definitely our first penalty of the night. He went ahead and all f forward or took a toe. He cooked it in there. It's fine. I don't think it cost me too much. So uh, relative to what matters. Go Trenton! Go Trenton! Trenton thirteenth, lol in eighth. Yeah, I myself. Oh shit! Cody Brown almost stopped on the track. Yeah, I myself by that first, uh, 
Oh my gosh, Dave just narrowly missed him. Cody keeps it rolling. We stay green. That was a. I was really hoping that was going to bring down the yellow. That was definitely an oh shit moment. No, Hayden unlaps himself. Oh shit, I thought I was Jay or somebody wrecking the head. Same dude, I, I killed myself because I thought somebody was dying. Hit this one, hit this one. And it's Hoitzma. If he makes it to the end of 82, this is the end of 81, though. He may be a lap short. My calculation, he's a lap short and would have to go an extra lap next time. He is definitely trying to get to the end. This was 30... 39 laps, I think, on this set. And you'll have to go... I don't know, it's going to be close. <laughs> it's going to be real close. Very close. Blake Giglio takes over the race lead ahead of Brad Wilson. Travis Martin now third. Alec Andrix fourth. So we finally wrap up the second round of green flag pit stops. Hoitzman was the last car to cycle through. Hoitzman hoping it stays green. He wants to make this thing on fuel. Play Kiglio, your leader. Wilson is second. Check in on Hayden after that snafu on pit road. He's currently fifth. Where he runs is ahead of all the championship drivers, so he's still the championship leader while Blake Giglio leads the race, Wilson, Martin, and Andrix ahead of him. The rest of the champ drivers are behind him. And Wolfenbarger sixth in this Hornet's Nest. There's Jay Richter, currently seventh. Ian Montrose eighth. Harry Grindel ninth. Ethan Evers in the top ten. Then Trenton is eleventh. Trenton has fresher tires on a lot of the cars ahead of him. He should be able to climb back up through the run. Hoitzman is 12th. He's trying to run down Trenton. Cody Cleaver. He had a long pit stop. One minute and eight seconds for Cleaver. The night not going well for him at all. He's involved in that incident on lap one. Cleaver a bit frustrated, I'm sure, as he gets up into the fence. Finds himself two laps down in 25th. Let's ride on board with Lucas and see if we can hear some fuel saving. Oh, definitely. <laughs> hear him clutch it there. Lucas doing his damnedest to make this thing on two stops. You hear him clutching it early. He knows it's a lot of fuel to save. Right on board with the 97, back in 12th. It's gap to Hayden is about 10 seconds. Gap to the leader, about 18. Blue-eyed Dutchie getting in on the giveaway. So Lucas goes to the bottom to pass Ethan Evers for 11th. We we're listening to him clutching that throttle. Ethan lets him through. Jay Winch. One. Hayden is very unhappy. Hell, he worked hard for that. He might have saved 40 fucking laps. It's crazy. I tried to and said, yeah, fuck that. I'm slow out of the way. <laughs> Touche, Ethan. Touche. Oh, get fuck. That cockhead fucked me twice. Garrett Wolfenbarger just vanished. Yo! What up, Steve? How you been? It's championship week. We are about to crown a champion. 
15 weeks. Sorry, got moon car, got a wolfie. Enjoy the moon car. I have like pretty decent faith, but I just swear I'd start six laps after the race started, I just can't make it up. Hayden lost about eight seconds on the pit lane, not realizing that the 54 couldn't touch him. That is the difference between him in fifth and him leading right now, by the way. So he is less than seven seconds behind the leader. Thank you, sir. Let's look for some battles. Travis Martin. Hey, when you catch me, I'll give you the bottom. Kinda close to rattles. Huh? Lucas Weissman closing in on Ian Montrose. That'd be the swap for eighth. Isn't it funny, this man is saving fuel and passing people. <laughs> There is a five lap difference on their tires, but, well, actually more than five. I was looking at Trenton's numbers. About 13 laps difference on their tires. Someone's heading to the pit lane. Matt Benke in the Amtrak car, about wrecking on the pit lane. Ethan Evers coming out for his final stop. He's been on that three-stop strategy from the get-go. He peels off the track, heads to the pit lane. Get himself four fresh tires and a tank of fuel. Travis Martin going for second here. Thank you, Ryan. Wilson getting loose. Back in steps out on him. He slides it up towards the outside wall. Travis Martin, your new second place. Brad Wilson, Alec Hendricks. Like Scott Elson's peeling down to the pit lane. Dave Hoisman has completed his stop in and out. Back out on track. Hayden Lowell in the fifth, trying to close in on Alec Hendricks. It's Cody Brown, Will Ash Renner behind. Both those cars off the lead lap. Both two laps down, so they're racing one another. 17 and 26. Funny enough, that is the closest battle on Andrew. track. <laughs> Will Ashton Brenner decided to take 21st away from Cody Brown. There is the change for 21st. They both passed Scott Elson on the pit lane. Though both these cars will slap the pit once again. It's like Brad Wilson. Has hit the pit lane in the 52. That was the back of this box, but trust me, he's there. Hayden still trying to work on Alec Andrix here. Always been probably wishing Trenton would pass him to save fuel. <laughs> Gap from Hoitzman to Hayden is nine seconds. Lucas can really back it up. Closest car to Lucas is, well, it's hard to tell because he's a lap down. <laughs> Can't tell the gap between the two. Have to add up all the time in between. Mm -hmm. I want to say roughly 25 seconds ahead of Brad Wilson. Lucas is turning laps at a 32.27. It's about a second off his usual pace, or his best lap, I should say. Check back in on Blake as he comes to the pit lane. Brings Travis Martin with him. Top two. Decided it's time for the pit lane. 
only thing Hagen can do is run it out and take two tires, hope for the best. So that moves Lucas and Hoitzma up into the top five, so we finally have three championship drivers in our top five. Hoitzma and Trenton. Start of the run, Lucas needed to save a lap. A lot of these drivers are getting to that point where they'd be doing halfway on their tires if they split it up. JR Deal down on the apron. Must have completed his service. Back out he goes to rejoin the fight, currently in 23rd. Wilson going around Hayden, our leader. So Wilson unlaps himself in 10th for the first car that's pitted back on the lead lap. Gap. Wilson to Giglio is 2.7 seconds. Blake is running that down a little bit. 67 pitting this time. 67 in this time. 67. So Hayden's not going to run it dry. Hayden has decided not to run it dry. A little surprising. See Monday and Jeff, I'm going in this time. Oh, he's going to spin it on the pit lane. Hayden Lowell crashes on the pit lane. Championship no, favorite. Really over. Spun it out on the pit lane. You heard him dejected on the radio as Harry Grindel takes over the race lead. Coming in. Harry Grindel getting some spotlight. Lucas Weissman is in second. Sitting. Did escalate quickly, Rowdy. How are you, my friend? Jeff Price, looks like he had an issue getting on the pit lane, he decided not to serve his penalty. See what happened to the 19, gets in there really hot, back in comes around, yeah, he's definitely speeding onto the pit lane. And the 19 Harry, has said good luck to everyone else. <laughs> Alec Andricks out of the race? Question mark. Along with Jeff Price. It's like Harry Grindel woeing it down. Coming to the pit lane. Race leader. That turns lead to Lucas Hoitzma. Lucas running 32 sevenths. He's backed it down well off of his normal pace. No and then that killed me. See what happens to Trenton here. He gets in there very hot. I think he picked up a penalty, judging by his reaction. Blake already done with this pit service in third. He is 19 seconds behind Lucas. Brad Wilson also completed his round of service. He is 17 seconds behind Lucas. So those are the two. That could run down Lucas and steal the win, but neither of them are going for the championship. The championship is Hayden Lowell in the fifth spot. He is currently a lap down to the leader. So we went through two pit cycles of people being very good about getting penalties, but Trenton busted on pit road for speeding here in the 81. Looking through the list, also had Matt Benke pick up a penalty. A couple other drivers alt F forward when they got a penalty and decided they didn't want to serve it. Andrew Lucas earned it. There goes <laughs> Hayden trying to jinx Lucas. Hayden gets back on the lead lap. 30 seconds, the gap. Hayden oh, to Hoitzman. Lucas has been so snake bitten by cautions coming out late. He is just... <laughs> 
probably hoping and praying at this point. Everyone's trying to reverse jinx each other. <laughs> Martinson in seventh, but he still has to pit again. So 88 will be heading to the pit lane sometime before the end of the race. If I didn't stand on pit road or get overshoot my box trying to miss somebody, then it would have been a lot closer, but nope, I don't have time. Hey, at least you can get 40 second hold. <laughs> Trenton. Yeah, I've seen you go in hot. So that all but knocks Trenton out of the running. Back there with Cody Cleaver now, two laps down, 18th and 19th. Those two can wonder what might have been. No, I'm trying to save my bad. Let's see where Clapper's out on the fuel yeah, number. Daniel, I was told, uh, oh, there's no way Clapper makes it. Clapper's got 30 laps? Yeah, he'd have to hold, save four? Yeah, That's tell. not happening. Hoyt's been struggling to make the one lap work. <laughs> Clapper's like three laps worse than that. Clapper is not making it. Wilson in second. The gap is 14 seconds. And championship Hayden is fifth. Gap is 26 seconds. It's come down about four. Still a long way to go with 11 laps. He would need a caution and a caution only to save his season. Giglio working by Wilson. It's a battle for the second spot. Silver and bronze spots going at it on the podium. Wilson smacks the wall a little bit. Yeah, when you get to me, take the bottom. Blake takes over second. Wilson drops the third. Asher Banner rides the wall to stay out their way. Martin currently fourth. Travis is two seconds back from Wilson. There's Hayden in fifth. He's seven seconds away from Travis in fourth. Harry Grindel, Jay Richter, Brandon Vasquez, Ian Montrose, and Ethan Evers, current top ten. We have Dave Hoitzman. Clapper Newell trying to save fuel and make it to the end, but doesn't look good for him. To find Margerson. There he is. Margerson finally completing his service. Probably see the two car relatively soon, along with the 21. Both of those 33 laps since they were on the pit lane. All eyes okay. on Hoisman to see if he can make it. Yes, sir. Seems fairly confident. He's backed it down to a 32.9, 1.6 seconds point. off of his fastest. Shutting it off in the corners, you heard him there. It's Downey looking to his inside. Downey goes by in the 05. Hoist will go try to get some draft off of him. Hear him clutch it into the corner. Seven laps to go at Chicago Land. Can Hoitzman make the fuel last? And if he can't, well, then it's Hayden's. But if he can, then it's Lucas's. Cleaver and Steed are all but out of the running. That's a wall, boy. Both two laps down and way behind. It's like Cody Cleaver has finally hit the pit lane in the two. I think that leaves Clapper Newell. It's the last car. Hopefully he doesn't run out of gas and stop on track. He's currently 13th. Just ahead of Llewellyn and Cher. Cher is for position there. Jay Richter, Ian Montrose. This is the battle for 8th. Montrose has it. Richter wants it. 
share gets by Clapper Newell's. Clapper Newell's still trying to save fuel. Let's just say if Clapper Newell makes it, <laughs> Hoisa is definitely good. So Hoisa had three laps in hand over Clapper Newell. Goes Hayden to the inside of Clapper. It's not for position. Hayden's currently fifth, trying to run down Travis Martin. Still six seconds apart with those two. Martin's closing in on Bradley Wilson. It's down under a second now, four laps to go. There's Wilson just ahead. Vasquez has Montrose and Richter closing in. Be a three car battle. Nobody wreck. Don't do it. <laughs> Hayden, you're perfectly capable of wrecking yourself. You've done it before. Share in J Munch trade spots. I think Hoisman had it even if Hayden didn't mess up twice on pit road. Because that was, what, 7 seconds with the one incident? Maybe about 10 seconds with the other? At 17 seconds, it's still... Still Lucas's advantage at this point. It's close. I don't think Lucas will be backing off as much as he is, though, if that were the case. Because he's got 11 seconds in hand over Blake. He's not pushing the issue at all right now. Lucas into turns three and four. Needs to see the white flag. That way nothing can ruin this for him. Up out of turn four. Where it is, white flag in the air. The yellow will not ruin Lucas's night. Now he just has to make it back around on his tank of gas. And I think he should be good. Clapper Newell still out on track. 41 laps later, so I think Whitesman is definitely good. Placement down into turns three and four for the last time in the final race of the season in the Fort Worth Screen Printing Xfinity Series. And your series champion will be Lucas Hoitza in the 97. Makes the fuel last on a two-stopper after that early caution. Lucas Hoitza to the victory lane and to the championship podium. Heck of a season for Lucas. Blake Giglio and Wilson, they're dancing side by side coming to the line. Blake Giglio the second, Lucas Wilkins the third. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks Brad Wilson in third. I don't know why I said Lucas Wilson. <laughs> Travis Martin fourth, Harry yeah, Kundel fifth. Okay. Hayden Hull sixth. Brandon Vasquez seventh. Yeah, like Ian Montrose eighth. Jay Richter ninth. Ethan Evers tenth. Dave Hoitzman eleventh. Share twelfth. Jay Munch. J.R. Deal. Clapper Duel. Elston. <laughs> nice. Saved enough fuel for the burnout. Put it in neutral. 0.2. Impressive. That would have been real close without my pit issues, but you earned it, you were cleaner. You saved the fuel. How did you earn it? Congrats, Lucas. Champion Lucas Weitzman doing his burnouts. Pounding Marges out of the way. And you had enough for the burnout. How was it out there, and how much nerve wracking was going on as you were clutching it in the corners? Oh, my. 115 laps, basically. It just sitting there. Holding the clutch, lifting off, holding the clutch. Oh my goodness. I was, I mean, the last 50 or 60, I'm sitting there like, please, no caution, please. Because this is like, Hayden was really fast, man. And I mean, it would have been close between me, Trenton, and Cody if uh, something happened to Hayden, like, <laughs> the last pit stop. Yeah, Up until that point, I think that made me feel a little bit better, but I was still hoping nobody would wreck and. That was all I had. That was the only play I had. I mean, luckily I got that damage on lap one. It forced me to come down pit road, which ended up giving me enough fuel to make it to the end. So, I mean, just worked out so lucky and uh, just thankful, man. That was awesome. Aren't you glad your car got tight and you hit the wall? Yeah, I, that was the best wall it. hit I've ever had. I... <laughs> Even better than the Llewellyn hits? Uh, you know, Daniel makes it pretty pretty interesting. <laughs> Daniel makes everything interesting. Yeah, I thought he was going to come out there and cause the caution. <laughs> so I'm coming back out. 
<laughs> oh, that would have been rough. He did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, 59 laps down, and he came back out there, and good for him. Good for him going out you there and could. finishing. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> he just wanted to do burnouts with you at the end. He knew you were going to win. <laughs> I'm glad he was confident. <laughs> All right, bud. You got the Friends Family Sponsor shout-outs for the championship and the win tonight? Yes, sir. Just, uh, as always, huge shout-out to uh, Labor 12, uh, M9 Performance. Uh, all my teammates for not causing a caution. Uh, everybody for racing me clean tonight. I mean, somebody could have just, you know, I don't know. Something stupid could have happened, but everybody did it clean. And I just want to send my uh, I don't, I, thankfulness to everybody for being uh, being cautious. So, yeah, I, I think that's going to do it. Uh, thanks for you always for doing the broadcasting. Everybody puts this thing on. It was a really fun season this year. Team 4, congrats on the win. Congrats on the championship. Get on out of here. Enjoy it. Thanks, man. <laughs> See ya. Jumping back down with Daniel in chat, and now we go find, well, the 16 of Giglio. He's not in the waiting room. Can't talk to Blake. We're going to go We're gonna go have our fun. Hello. Hold oh. up. Well, Blake ran away like a little bitch, so Daniel gets to do his Yeah, interview. yeah. He went to go take a bubble bath. <laughs> well, you get to do his interview now, uh, Daniel. So, uh, Daniel, um, Blake Giglio finishing second tonight. How do you feel about Blake's second place finish? Uh, well, you know, he didn't quit. I was surprised he finished. He cried the whole time. <laughs> I'm sure he did. <laughs> well, uh, there is the good news that uh, he beat all of the three-stop strategy cars, and he also beat Alec Andrix. Hey, he'll be happy about that. Exactly. I'm sure he's soaking in the bathtub right now thinking about it. I'm, I'm sure soaking's what he's doing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, go ahead and do Blake shout outs for him, and uh, we'll get on out of here. Thanks to Low Drag, all the teammates there. Thanks to my mommy and daddy. <laughs> I, lo I love my painter. I love oh. mommy and daddy. Oh mommy, god. please buy me another car. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's <Bless> up, <up>, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> all right well y'all have a great night and i uh, appreciate you doing blake's interview for me daniel and uh yeah have a great 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 evening you know just have it have it right now you too. okay no. bye <laughs> brad wilson's lying out in the chat anywheres oh my goodness don't tell me brad ran away too mm. is travis hanging out he sure is travis is getting his interview travis Chav, dg the booth you got a copy hello well, Brad Wilson ran away, so you get to take over his uh you get to take over his interview and do a fourth place interview. How's that sound? Oh, nice. Well, thanks, Brad. Yeah, so I'm you know, just being in the uh, the Chrysler spirit, getting around and uh having the extra interviews because I, I just want to talk to you and it sounds like a good excuse, you know? Hey, always an excuse to talk to you, baby. <laughs> well, we brought it home in fourth tonight and uh well, it looked like it was a fairly straightforward race. A lot of times when I saw you you were kind of by yourself, which was odd because everyone else was in two and three car battles and most of the night, at least early on, you kind of seem like you're off to yourself there. Yeah, it was great. Uh, it was a really good race. You know, first off, congrats to Lucas. Uh, championship well earned. Um, but yeah, it was, it was uh, nice and clean on my end. I didn't really have a whole lot of traffic to, uh, you know, navigate, but didn't really have a whole lot of drafting partners either. So I think that kind of hurt me a little bit. But that's okay. I'm happy with P4. Uh, I thought I might be able to get Brad there at the end, but uh, I, I kind of tapped the wall trying to run the high side and I think uh, kind of messed myself up there. But that's okay. Still a fun race. Love Chicago land. Everybody ran super clean. So good night. Yeah, and just imagine if you like the Gen 6 or next gen, you get to do it again tomorrow. <laughs> hey, yo. All right, bud. Well, congrats on the <laughs> strong run tonight. Fourth place finish. Got the friends, family, sponsor shout outs for me. Of course, dude. Uh, ten tenths, my boys. My hello. Graphics.com for this awesome Mary Chrysler scheme, and of course your beautiful face for letting me go back and watch this uh, awesome race and getting to feel like I'm on TV. My look, I'm on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, mom. All right, but well, congrats on that fourth place run and a strong season. And uh, get on out of here. Enjoy the rest of your night. And uh, hopefully we'll see you win a championship Thursday. Have a good night, dude. Mwah. Travis Martin bringing it home P4 tonight and has a chance for a championship on Thursday in the truck series. I was hoping to grab Cody Brown, but it looks like he ran away while I was waiting for that. Damn you, Cody. Don't see anything else going on. Yeah, perfect. We'll just end it there with the interviews. All right. Let's run through our final rundown from wherever we are. 
<laughs> it's been that kind of night. Uh, Chicago Lands popped up the ATVO. Um, that's how you actually make these layouts. Still had that open from earlier when I had to adjust some of the coloring. Well, here is our finishing results for tonight. Lucas Hoisman, Blake Giglio, Brad Wilson, Travis Martin, Harry Grindel, Hayden Knoll, Brandon Vasquez, Ian Montrose, Jay Richter, Ethan Evers, your top 10. And page two, Dave Hoisman, Jeremy Scherer, Jay Munch, J.R. Deal, Jeremy Clapper Newell, Scott Elston, Trenton Sneed, Zach Margison, Cody Cleaver, Will Asherbrenner. And the final page, Matt Benke, Gatlin Downey, Alec Andricks, Jeff Price, Cody Brown, Tyler Stillwell, Garrett Wolfenbarger, and Daniel Lowallen. Thanks for everyone coming out tonight. 28 car field for a championship is absolutely awesome. Appreciate everybody. Appreciate Cody running the series for us this season. Thanks again to Fort Worth Screen Printing that helps us put this Xfinity series on. Appreciate them so much, John Garrett and everybody over there. Awesome people. Check them out, fwscreen.com. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure you get in that candle giveaway, Light of My Life candle, giving away a free candle at the end of this broadcast. So make sure you get in there and get in on the candle giveaway l-o-m-l in the twitch chat appreciate you guys so very much let's go ahead and run through the sponsor pages and get the bills paid so we can get on to the giveaway we have 911 fleet services doing our sun sunday wednesday cup series we have cave city roleplay doing our thursday night truck series and then we have fort worth screen printing did our xfinity race that you just watched here tonight and crowned champion lucas hoisma champion of season eight for FSM Customs does our Friday IMSA series. Golden Eagle Syrup does our Friday Super Speedway series. Light of My Left Candles giving away a candle tonight. The flavor is Jamaican something. <laughs> Might be Jamaican me crazy. Who knows? M9 Performance doing a double header tonight for the Modified Championships. Need to some Game Farm does the Sunday Street Stocks. Spit and Venom Podcast. Check them out on Spotify. They do our ARCA series on Monday. And the 1023 Graphics start us off tonight with our Dirt Street Stocks. That is is all of our sponsors appreciate everybody that helps the world go around here in sidewinder thanks to all of the admins all of the drivers everyone that be takes part in our community we appreciate each and every one of you have a great wonderful rest of your night and we will see you back here tomorrow for the cup series thank you so much Bye bye